Oh, my name is Heinke Jäger. I'm from Germany and I work at the Charles Darwin Foundation as a restoration ecologist. Well, in Galapagos we have very unique plant and animal species and one of the unique plant species is Scalesia. So the entire genus of Scalesia is endemic. That means it only occurs here in Galapagos. And we have one species here in, at Los Gemelos which forms a whole um, forest. But actually what we see now is only 3% of the distribution that Scalesia had, let's say, in the 1950s and 60s before the agricultural area was established and a lot of it was cut down. So the National Park and the Charles Darwin Foundation really want to make sure that we preserve the area we have now. The current forest is threatened by invasive plant species and one of them is blackberry. And compared to the other invasive species, this is really by far the worst because where it grows there's nothing growing underneath and it spreads very rapidly and in areas where it has invaded there is no natural regeneration of Scalesia. It soon became apparent that blackberry is a huge problem for the vegetation and therefore the National Park Directorate has been regularly cutting down the blackberry and spraying it with herbicides. So the National Park wanted to know how efficient are those control methods and also what is the impact on the native species like vegetation birds and um, invertebrates. So I came in to do the, the vegetation part. There are also colleagues of mine who work on the impact that these control measures have on the birds and invertebrates. The Charles Darwin Foundation is measuring the vegetation in blackberry infested areas in permanent plots. Once we finish this work, the National Park Directorate comes in, they cut down the blackberry and spray herbicide. And then shortly after that, they reforest this controlled area with native and endemic species like the Scalesia. So then we go back to the same places afterwards to monitor the vegetation again and see the changes. So at the same time we hope that this information will help us to be able to reduce the negative impacts that these control measures have on native species and also to be able to monitor the success of the reforestation actions. So when I do my field work, I go out with my assistant, Marcelo Loyola. He's writing down everything I'm saying, and he's also the one who cuts the blackberry so that we can get to the place where we want to work. So early morning, we arrive at Los Gemelos, and first of all, we have to walk through the blackberry thicket. So once we arrive at our site, where we're going to establish a new plot, I'll get out the GPS. Once we took the GPS coordinates of the plot, I mark the corner with the two different colored flagging tape and a metal tag in order to be able to come back to exactly the same spot for the following monitorings. And then I lay out a tape measure for 10 meters into the north-south direction and we do that three times in the plot so we have three parallel transects um, five meters apart. And along this tape measure we're measuring the vegetation every 10 centimeters. So that means I'm looking what is growing underneath and above these 10 centimeters. Then I go back to the transects and look to both sides in order to um, pick up additional species that we missed the first time. So once this is done, we go and measure the circumference of the Scalesia trees and we mark them so we can also relocate them over time and this way we want to know how much they grow within six months when we do the next monitoring and eventually over a longer time period. This entire procedure is repeated randomly 17 times in an area of eight hectares and then we do the same thing in an area where the park doesn't control and doesn't reforest and this serves as a reference area. We want to evaluate the impacts that the herbicide control of blackberry has on the native vegetation and want to know how effective these methods are, but especially how effective the restoration efforts of the National Park are. So the ultimate goal is to preserve or to restore as much of the Scalesia forest as possible.